Hey, it's Phil Bedford here, the Rebel Networker, and today uh, I'm in Dubai and I've got special guests here all the way from Spain. And it's a couple from uh, Canal Cocina, which is uh, a Spanish cooking channel. Uh, and they're in Dubai, they're going to tell us why in a minute, but I just want to uh, introduce Regis and uh, Veronica. Uh, Regis is the uh, producer, That's and right. uh, Veronica is the star. <laughs> so what I was after was two tips. Um, obviously, we look at helping our clients to build their business by word of mouth, by having contacts. So first, I would say, I've just spent a day doing uh, taking you all around Dubai, and that's great for my personal brand because I get to go into an audience of 55 million Spanish-speaking people. Wow. That's not bad for a day of work. <laughs> that's very good. <laughs> yeah, that's very... <laughs> How did you find me? Uh, well, we are shooting this show all around the world and we were looking for Spanish speakers uh, but not Spanish people here in Dubai. So we posted an ad uh, in a website looking for Spanish people mm -hmm. and we wanted someone Spanish to introduce us someone who wasn't Spanish. Then Mariano Andres, uh, who is the brother of the famous chef in America, Jose Andres, he's Spanish, he lives here in Dubai, and he spoke to us uh, about you. Okay. Uh, you're an expert, but you speak very good Spanish, and uh, well, you have a very good relationship with him, you work a lot with him, so he uh, thought that uh, you would be the perfect host for us here. Brilliant. <laughs> and fantastic. then we arrived here, uh, we knew, but you are very well known here in Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> I like these guys, did I tell you? <laughs> okay, uh, another tip would be, obviously you guys are experts in taking film, grabbing film and, and doing that. What would be a couple of tips that you can give to the audience if they're looking at uh, doing vlogging, apart from waiting until cars aren't around, what would be another two good tips you can give them for making the blogs more vlogs more interactive? So I think the the most important thing is uh, to look for good content. You have to look for something different, something special, something unique. If you find this, this is not easy because there are a lot of people around the world trying to look for this, uh -huh. and it's quite difficult to find. But if you uh, find this uh, unique content, it's uh, very, very, very. I think you you can have a success okay. with your video. So content one. And the second one is how you describe uh, what you are uh, looking. So perhaps to have a good uh, image, uh, some good video, mm -hmm. some good sound. The sound is quite important too. Okay. Um, if you are in some place like Dubai, I think it's quite easy. Yeah. And uh, maybe one tip from you. Uh, well, maybe the way of saying my role, I'm, uh, well, the one telling the stories that I find in the, um, around the world, so maybe the way you say it, you have to try to be natural and uh, try to be impressed by everything you, you see and how you express it, right? Like, mm. And also like trying not to be preppy, you know, like just being very natural mm. and not trying to show that you know everything because uh, you don't know anything. So it's okay to make mistakes, be human? Of course, of, of course. course. Yeah. And do you like the way I'm arranging for all these buses and cars to come back just to, <laughs> just to prove a point? They look perfect. Yeah. So of course. <laughs> now, right, well, now I have to go and pay them and thank them. So guys, and thank then you. Another important thing, if you have a presenter, I start like Veronica, is quite easy oh, to have success. <laughs> okay, so, so take the name to leverage the name, yeah? That's, it, that's right. Fantastic. <laughs> thank so, thanks thank for your you tip, much. thanks for coming. Thanks Veronica. a lot. Thank you so much. All right. So, two great tips there. Make sure you check out their show, Rebel Networking. Sometimes when we're in business, particularly in the early days, we can't afford necessarily big cars that look good. So if you do have a cheaper car because it's an expense thing, it doesn't hurt you to park it around the corner and just walk into their offices because at the end of the day, it's all about part of our image.